We are back in Got Some Way, and today we are doing a Q&A video because a lot of you are new to our channel and also because we have some super exciting news to share. But instead of doing a boring sit down Q&A video, we thought it would be more interesting if we answer your questions but also take you on a tour at one of the most exclusive and luxurious hotels in Got Some Way. Are you going to tell them we're leaving Thailand and going to Shh. from the W Hotel in Got Samoy. We have been invited to stay for a couple nights, so we will show you the hotel and our room in just a moment. First, we want to get to answering one of the questions you guys ask us the most, which is how is Got Samoy doing today? And we just got back to the island and we were both surprised that it's super busy. Both domestic and foreign tourists are here now on the <laughs> island and it's super nice to see the island comes back to life again because we have never seen it like this. I think the timing right now is that domestic tourists are coming for Songkran and international tourists are coming because Thailand recently removed the pre-arrival PCR test. And starting May 1st, we have read that they're going to try to remove PCR tests on arrival and switch it to an ATK test at the airport. That would be awesome. So start planning your trip. This is the first time we are having a floating breakfast. Looks heavy when we float. <laughs> How's the water? Oh, it's warm! It's our first floating breakfast ever. So we'll give you the real, you know, what was it? The real feedback about a floating breakfast. Experience. <laughs> okay, so we have some fresh fruits. This is yogurt with chia seeds, nuts, and they also have a little granola oh. here. And we also have sausage and eggs and bacon. Pancakes with blueberry and maple syrup, maybe? Pancakes look delicious. There's also over there some pastries that are probably for me because you're not gonna eat any of them. And then we have some cold cuts, which you will eat all of them. <laughs> I'm excited for that. But first, before we eat, second question mm -hmm. How long are we going to stay in Samui? We are planning to travel internationally, but Thailand is kind of our home base because no, it is Thai and uh, I'm on a spouse visa. We like we can stay here for as long as we want to. So that's why Thailand will be a base for us, even though we keep traveling. And right now we love Samoy, so I think we are going to keep our home here. We still haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> going to take a photo first. Wait, we should answer that question. Do you ever find it hard when vlogging to be in the moment while capturing all the footage. This is a really good example. Because if we were just on holiday or something and enjoying this, I think we'd just dig in and eat it. Yeah, we would have been done by now. We don't usually film like every single thing that happens, um, but there are some moments like having a floating breakfast that is worth the extra time to go and capture. Especially for me, I can't stay still for too long. <laughs> So operating cameras, taking photos, uh, taking b-rolls, it's like part of the fun for me. Um, a breakfast floating away. Oh. <laughs> Excuse the um, cicada sound. Hmm. It's the season right now in Koh Samui. It's and mating season. Is that what they're doing now? They're having sex. Kids watch our channel. <laughs> Should we put it on the ledge so it doesn't keep floating? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. That's why they need oh. two people to carry this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have one good one. Uh, this is one of the most searched questions on Google. What nationality are Northern Floor? The note is Thai. He's not half Thai, he is full Thai. I was born in Kongan, Isan. I moved to Chiang Mai when I was seven. I lived there till I'm 15 and then moved to Canada. So I spent half of my life in Thailand and half of my life in Canada. And I am Canadian, 
So I was born in Hong Kong and I moved to Vancouver when I was three years old. The funny thing is that a lot of people in Thailand think that floor is Thai and yeah. I'm like Chinese or Japanese because yeah. they would speak Thai to Flora mm. and speak English to me but then when I respond to them in Thai they would be like oh your Thai is really good <laughs> okay we're just gonna finish our breakfast and then we'll show you the room mm. a little change of plan because our room is a bit messy right now we'll show you that later we're gonna hit the gym first I think the gym is just here Oh, nice. But I think before we hit the gym, you think it would be a good idea to hit the, the sweet, sweet spot? spot? <laughs> this is pretty cool. They told us that there are four sweet spots that are on the property. And what they are basically help yourself to some cold drinks. And my favorite, help yourself to some ice cream. Strawberry um, Royale Cornetto. Oh, I'll be back. So the building we just walked into is actually where the gym is, where the spa is, and also they have their main pool just up top. Should we go up and just take a look? Sure. Wow. Whoa. It's oh, a windy it. day! The iconic W symbol. Who's the artist that uses that kind of art? Yeah, it looks familiar, doesn't Something it? Something face. Something face. Even though it's super nice up here, I feel like not a lot of people will come to the main pool because every single villa at the W have their own pool, their own private pool. Maybe worth coming for that W sign. It's really beautiful. No, it was right. It says right there, Alex Face. So that's the artist who uh, created this. Oh, wow. That's a big gym. Lots of equipment. Good. Good. Okay, time for another question. So this question is related to the gym. It is, do you guys have a daily routine for mental and physical wellness? We kind of do. We try our best to work out when we can, especially when we are back in Gotsamoy. It's a bit harder when we are traveling to do that sometimes. Note obviously enjoys going to the gym and lifting weights. For me, I tend to like to do like morning stretches or evening stretches. I think overall you have to really listen to your body and today Note is doing that. So we came to the gym to work out but he wasn't feeling it so we'll show you what he's up to right now. So taking a nap is also part of your mental physical wellness guys. Very, very important. <laughs> As I eat my ice cream here, I'm also going to give you a tour of our oceanfront haven one bedroom pool villa. I'll start off with the living room and the bedroom. So here we have a cozy living space with the couch and the TV and just behind this here we have a super comfortable king size bed. And honestly, once my body hit the mattress last night, I was out for eight hours. It is so comfortable, probably the best bed I've slept in since a long time. And we also have a working space there where we spent a couple hours editing videos for you yesterday. Oh, we also have a coffee station. The coffee was delicious. They also have some glasses, like wine glasses, a little wine fridge in here, and also a mini fridge in here. And this is the bathroom. So we have this big tub here, perfect for bubble baths. And we have two showers. We have an outdoor shower, and we also have an indoor shower. And we have this beautiful double sink here. And of course, the most important thing is toilet. The toilet is just hidden. In, hidden in that corner there. Over here is a door that leads directly to the pool so you can hop right in. 
But I don't think we should take this way to go outside. <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Let's go from the other, other door. And the outdoor area is massive as well. So this is the private pool and we already showed you this because we had our floating breakfast here. But on the other side is the lounge area and if we take this path all the way down, it actually goes directly to the beach. Here, we'll show you. Wow. The sand is so white. They did a good job like keeping the beach clean. And it's just the two of us here. Look. <laughs> Literally empty. Private beach and private pool. So we're walking into the W Lounge now, which is probably the most iconic spot at the W Hotel in Gossamoy. And if you scroll through Instagram with the hashtag Gossamoy, you'll probably see a lot of people taking photos here at this W because you can see the whole view of the Gulf of Thailand here and also of Gop Phang An. It is pretty spectacular. <laughs> W property and all we knew about them was that they are a five-star luxury hotel but when we got here we were shocked because it's not like your traditional luxury hotels well how would you describe the decor here stylish yeah modern bold it's kind of aimed towards the more like younger, younger generation. generation it's really fun looking and the way they build the hotel it's like an island within an island and that is actually the concept of the W here in Got Samoy. They have everything at the resort. They have jungle, they have beach, they have restaurants. Really don't need to leave the resort, but there is one reason why we need to leave the resort. Very important reason. We need to feed our cat. We'll do that tonight <laughs> after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I'm so excited because this is the afternoon tea set and I love afternoon tea. So this tea set has a theme. It is the greenhouse and as you can see, everything is edible except for the two uh, wooden decorations here. But even this little container for this like a flower pot. cookie crumb soil is made of chocolate so you can eat everything. Oh, they have a lot of savory options. Wow, rice like crispy. These rice crisps with like salmon. That looks like beetroot. I'm not sure. Mushroom maybe. This wow. looks like uh, prawn cake. Could be, yeah. Mmm. Okay. I don't know what all these things are. We're just guessing. The best way to find out is we eat it. <laughs> Hope you guys can hear us okay with the DJ playing in the background. But we have one final question. Are we leaving Thailand? Yes, we are. Where are we going? We are going to Vietnam. Yay! We can't wait to show you guys Vietnam. It's going to be our first international flight in over two years. But just to be clear, we are not leaving Thailand permanently. We are still based in Thailand, based in Gossamoy, because there is still so much of Thailand we want to explore. But because so many surrounding countries are open, we really are tempted to just go take a look. We will be exploring Hanoi first. And if you have any recommendations mm -hmm. in Hanoi or in Vietnam in general, just let us know in the comment below. We'd love to hear from you. We hope you enjoyed this Q&A video and we want to say thank you so much for supporting our channel and also special thank you to W Hotel for having us here. We will send you off with a montage of us eating beautiful Japanese food. Have a wonderful day and we will see you in Vietnam. See you in Vietnam.
But your first language is English. No, it's not. No? <laughs> it's not. It's Chinese. Oh, that's why your English is not that good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one final question. Are we leaving Vietnam? <laughs> 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 okay, ready? 